G'day, g'day, and welcome to the Late Morning Show. Today we'll be your hosts, myself, Alina, Polinka, Padilla, Ashley, and Cooper. Today we'll be discussing the nine billion names of God. Warning, there will be spoilers for the whole of the story, so we'll be giving you three seconds to read the short story of the nine billion names of God by Arthur C. Clarke. Um, uh, we're going to give you a summary before we start. And the summary starts when these iTech, well, these llamas, like a type of monk, um, they asked IT, like iTech people, if they could use their computer to write out the nine billion names of God using its coding sequence. Yeah, and then print it out. And that would like fill the prophecy of God, um, like when you write out all his nine billion names, like the purpose of human, like the purpose of us human beings was to figure out all nine billion names of yeah. God. So when they figure, like if they figured it out, then like world would end or something. And um, the iTech people didn't believe that it would happen, so they didn't want to get blamed that their computer wasn't working. So they left on mountain ponies, and um, when they were leaving, they were thinking like probably around now they should have uh, wrote all the nine billion names of God. Then like they finished. looked up at the sky, and the stars were slowly disappearing, which marked like the en- the world was actually ending. So God existed, and it was actually true. So now we're gonna di- wait. I'm now gonna tell you what questions we're gonna discuss. The first question is, what is the attitude of the IT computer techies to the project? The attitude of the IT computer techies is that they didn't think nothing was going to happen. They thought that the llamas were like like, crazy, like crazy and they just thought that everything was going to be fine. But if it didn't work, they thought that they were going to get the blame. And so they were like scared, so they had to like leave. Yeah, and um, yeah, do you want to say something? No, no comment. So, now let's select some quotes that helps prove our idea of the computer techie. This one has quotes. Um, I don't see that it makes the slightest difference to us after we already know, like, knew that they were crazy. Um, that's Chuck, one of the computer techies, talking to the other computer techie, Dr. Wagner. Dr. Wagner saying that, oh, well, that whole paragraph, paragraph is about um, them saying that the monks or llamas are crazy and that it's just insane, it's not going to happen. Okay, let's move on to the next question. How does this set up the ending? Um, this sets up the ending by, um, well, they, so all the readers thought that they were correct, like, because it just sounded correct, like, there was no possible way that the nine billion names of God... Everyone thought the monks were crazy. Yeah, like, it really made sense. And then, at the end, it just changed. It Wait, so no one believed them? No one believed them. No and one it believed. just completely it... changed. It, like, made a complete twist, like, 360 degrees twist, I think. That's no, you mean a 180 mean. twist. 360, would they, they go straight so back so around to okay, the Okay, so, 180, so anyway. Yeah. I got a bang card. Anyway, Matt's time. And, um... It just changed, and it was they were actually correct. God was actually real, and it was, the world was ending. It's like a nice way to so set into correct. a plot twist. Yeah. Let's move on to the next question. Who do you think the reader, published in the US and UK in the 1950s, would relate most to? Um, probably one of the computer techies. Don't know why. But I just feel like in the US and the UK, I don't think that have that many llamas there, and they relate to the non-llama people would just be the computer techies. Like, yeah, I can relate to these guys. Like, they don't, probably don't, mo- most of them in the US don't believe in, well, most people, well, some people don't believe in God, but then in, like, the UK, there's a ton of Christian people, and, like, in America, there's a, also a bit more people, so they probably also relate to the llamas. So... The majority of people would probably be related to relating more to the techies than the llamas, but then some people will be relating to the llamas. Yeah. Getting through it. 
Like that, that. That, that was a very good explanation. Yeah. So most people would relate to the techies and not the llamas. So yeah. in conclusion, it could be a bit of both. So let's move on to the second last question. What impact does the ending have for the reader? So the ending was the stars were disappearing from the sky. Yeah. The llamas were right. So how yeah, but does no one believed them. That they how were does right. the impact? How does that impact the reader? Well, like us. Okay. Well, it, well I, don't, I don't think it's like that big of a twist. Like, mm -hmm. like, like Star Wars, Darth Vader being Luke's father. Unless you're German, then it'd be pretty <coughs> obvious. Because <coughs> Vader in German is father. Anyway, um, the plot twist. Well, it's like you want to read the story again, and then when you read it, like. The plot twist changes everything, so you want to read the story again. You read the story again, and it has a completely different side of things. It changes the whole beginning of the story. It changes all the facts you've had in the beginning of the story, and then you have to read it again to know what actually happened properly. Like Inception and one of the short sci-fi films we previously watched, Pets. Kind of like that. that Wait, so, you had, so you've had like all this information, and then by this one fact that every like all, the, uh, all that other information is wrong. It doesn't have to yeah. be wrong, just just like changes your perspective. Just incorrect. Like not wrong but like yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> not wrong but like different. Yeah. Okay. okay. But still I say it's much better than since it never never made into Darwin. Okay, let's but not talk far. about that. Okay, let's move let's on. move on to the last question for today. What then is the theme or message of the text? Hmm. Well, I think the message of the well no. Well, well the theme well, I think the message is sort of like never, like never judge the book, the book uh, by its cover, kind of thing. Like, yeah. So the message is basically like some stuff doesn't seem to be as it seems, and like yeah, that's what I think the message is. Yeah, like the message is expect the unexpected, kind of. But it wasn't that unexpected. But like it kind of, like kind of it. Kind of made sense that it would happen, but not exactly. Like, you, you wouldn't expect it, but now that you've heard it, you could have expected it. Yeah. Anyway. So, the, we didn't discuss the theme. The theme. That is... The, no, that was the message. That oh, was yeah. the message. What's the, the theme? The theme is probably, like, computer... Um, like computer, like like Christiany computer so like stuff. Like only like just, just about computers. Or like I not just about computers, but like Christian stuff as well. I actually maybe not just Christian. Yeah, I think the I think the theme is like maybe somehow to believe in God or something because none of nobody believed in God and then suddenly the Everyone world was believed. the world was ending like, ending and it was because they wrote the nine billion names of God. Yeah. It's not and like it's, everyone was like atheist and then all the snap oh i believe now the world is ending but they're have, like wow i realize now like, yeah, it's like yeah i'm amazed that I actually happened yeah yeah I, I don't believe in god personally myself it's just okay, good crazy to know. stuff good to know Cooper. okay so this question is in a part of our schedule but what is our opinion on this story it, it's a good story. I think it's a good story to read at like a Christian church. I think it has like a good message. Like. It has a it has a nice meaning. It's like, well, very correct. It, it would be a nice story to read in a Christian church, like in the message about believing, in God. even when it everyone thinks it's stupid. Yeah, like believe yeah. in the llamas, even if yeah, that's a very nice message. I'd, I'd read it. it. I'd read it. So. You guys Let's have a vote. Who thinks this story was good and you would read it as one of your free time like books? Actually, yes. Who thinks the story was good to read like one time but not anything to binge on? And Badia, what's your opinion since you didn't put your hands up on anything? You suck. Okay, Badia thinks it sucks. Cameraman Harrison, what do you think? It's boring. Okay, okay, he thinks it's boring. Okay. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe on our Glenwood YouTube channel. Hit the notification button. Comment down below what you think of the nine billion name of God. Nine billion names of God. And while waiting for our next video, check out Chocolips. It's a great movie. Bye. Bye.